Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, in this video, I will show you how to edit like Dan Co in Premiere Pro. First, go to new item, sequence, horizontal 1080, vertical 9020. Press OK. Go to new item and add black video. Let me add this into timeline and send it. Select ellipse tool and hold shift key to draw a circle shape like this. Let me align this ascender. Go to window, essential graphics. Make sure fill is white color and stroke is none. Create a copy of the circle. Go to essential graphics. And change fill to none and stroke to white color. In here, you can adjust the stroke size. Place the stroke layer over here. Set a keyframe for scale at the beginning of the timeline. Change to zero. Go a few frames forward and increase the scale size. Again, go a few frames forward and decrease the scale size. Let me adjust these keyframes. Set a keyframe for scale at the beginning of stroke circle. Change to zero. Go a few frames forward and increase the scale size. Again, go a few frames forward and decrease the scale size. Let me adjust these keyframes. I'm going to add another keyframe over here and slightly increase the scale. Again, go a few frames and slightly decrease the scale size. After that done, let me delete the unwanted portions. Now using rectangle shape tool, I am going to add some rectangle like this. Make sure fill none and stroke white color. Let me increase the stroke size to 2. I am going to create a 4 copies of this rectangle shape. Let me nest the first part. Now, I am going to animate each rectangle shape. Set keyframe for position at the beginning of the timeline. Place it down, go a few frames forward and place it up. Go again a few frames forward and slightly place it down. Do this for remaining rectangle box and as you see in this video. Adjust the timings for each rectangle box. Now, I'm going to animate the board, set keyframe for position, go a few frames forward and place the board over here. Let me go in the middle of these two keyframes, place the position slightly up. After that done, let me delete the unwanted portions. Nest all these rectangle layers. Now for the third part, set keyframe position and place it on top.
Go few frames forward and place it down. I am going to add a chain image. Go to effects and add tint. Change both colors to white. Now go to effect controls. Under opacity, select a rectangle mask tool. Add a mask like this. Set the keyframe for mask path over here. Go a few frames forward and place the mask over here. Using rectangle tool, I am going to draw a rectangle like this. Make sure fill none and stroke color white. Stroke width, let me change to 3. Using paint tool, I am going to draw 4 lines inside this rectangle. Make sure don't select any layers before adding lines. Now select rectangle layer and under opacity, select rectangle shape tool, add a mask like this. Place it over here. Go few frames forward and place this mask like this. Let me install these lines. Do the same for the line as a sequence. Did the other portions. Nest these layers. Now for the fourth part. Add a circle. Go to effects and add Venetian blinds. To make the circle dotted, transition completion 60. Set keyframe for rotation over here. Go few frames forward and change rotation one time. To make the circle center, I add some keyframes for anchor point. Let me create another copy of this dose circle. Go to effects and add basic 3D to this copied circle. Adjust the value of swivel and tilt. Now I'm going to add some small circles. Adjust the position of each circle to make it in a circular position like this. Let me nest these small circles. Double click on this nest circle. Add a black video in bottom. Adjust the position. Before going back to the main sequence, make sure to hide the black video. Set keyframe for scale for the small circle. Go few frames forward and increase the scale size. Again go few frames forward and change the scale size to 0. Set keyframe for rotation, go few frames forward and change the rotation value. Now I am going to add a circle. 
set keyframe for scale and change to zero. Go keyframes forward and increase the scale size. Let me set a keyframes for position to make the circle center. For some touch up, let me double click on the circle in the sequence. Add a circle. Place each circle like this as you seen in this video. Hide the black video. Go back to main sequence. Delete the unwanted portions and I'm going to nest all these layers. Now for the fifth part. I just screenshot this maze from Danko video. Using pen tool, I'm going to draw lines like this. Press shift key to make the line straight. Make sure not to select any layers before adding lines. Nest all these lines. Set keyframe for position of the ball layer. Go keyframes forward, place the ball down. Set the nest sequence and add a rectangle mask like this. Set keyframe for mask path. Go few frames forward and place the mask like this. Set a ball layer and set keyframe for position over here. Go few frames forward and place the ball on top. Go one frame forward and set a keyframe. Again, go few frames forward, place the ball on right. Go one frame forward and set a keyframe. Go few frames forward, place the ball on top. Now for final touch up. If you want to add glow, just go to effects and add drop shadow. Increase softness and opacity. If you want to add blur, go to effects and add directional blur. Set keyframe for direction and blur length. Go few frames forward, change the blur length to 7. For direction, set a keyframe, go few frames forward and change the direction angle as you see in this video. For test, go to type tool and add test. Under opacity, you can see this rectangle mask tool. Add it and set a keyframe for mask path. Go few frames forward and place the mask over here. Yeah, and that's it ladies and boys and girls. If you found this video useful, give a like, subscribe to my channel if you like these kind of tutorial videos. If you want to know how to edit like Ali Abdal in Premiere Pro, check out this video right here. If you want to know how to edit like Magnus Media in Premiere Pro, check out this video right here. And thank you for watching.